What's up guys, it's your boy Soji Grey and welcome to my first ever design tutorial video. Uh, I've been learning design for a very long time and I was kind of thinking like one of the ways I can sharpen my skills is to like, you know, share my journey and share my experience. So uh, I've been doing UX UI design basically and I use Figma and in this video I'll be showing you how to animate text. Now, I did get inspiration from someone. He goes by the name Zander Whitehurst on Instagram, an amazing UX designer, and I look up to him a lot. So I got the inspiration to animate this particular um, UI in Figma from Zander Whitehurst. So we're going to start off now, and I'm just going to jump to my screen. So as you can see, we have this really nice looking um, frame. It's uh, a frame of the 13 Pro Max. Now, uh, this is kind of like a furniture app. So it's like an app that people can go and buy furniture and stuff like that. And I'm going to have a text that says, um, make your interior minimal. So there's going to be like a, a main text here. And then there's going to be a subtext. And then there's going to be a call to action. Now, uh, on top of that, we have this nice image. So we are not going to change anything here, but we are going to see how or learn how we can animate uh, the following to look like how it's look, looked or to look like how it looked in the previous. Yeah, that's what happened. So like we're going to animate this to make it look more appealing. That's what I'm trying to say. So the first thing I'm going to do is just delete this first. Um, nothing here really changes, but we're going to start with a fresh slate for the text I just deleted. So I'm going to click text and then I'm going to type in make your interior make your interior yep so this is what we're looking for and then i'm just going to make it this way just so that i can add some things over here now what i want to do now is to click option and drag and then i'm going to write my first word which is minimal so minimal so then What's going to happen is that if I drag this here, it forms a sentence that makes sense. So make your interior minimal. Now I'm going to apply a linear gradient to this. I want it to be different from the main text because this is going to be changing as we play the animation. So we're going to have the first color being this. And then the next color being something like this. Um, let me make this, this, and then this a little bit deeper. Yep. So this is what we have now. So make your interior minimal. And, you know, if we chuck this into the work, it looks pretty good already. I'm not going to lie. But then um, if we go to prototype right if you go to prototype let me just okay i wanted to kind of reset and yes it has so if we go to prototype we can see that there's no animation there's no interaction and if you're trying to sell this to your clients you're trying to show your client you know how the app is going to feel like this is just too boring so we want to make it a little bit more exciting right so we're going to try to animate the minimal side right so it's going to be five words so i have them written on my paper here so it's going to be make your interior minimal make your interior modern make your interior cozy homey and the last one is welcoming so these are words that kind of resonate well with the target audience and you know once you have that appearing over and over again even before they enter into the app it makes them want to buy whatever you're selling right so um that's the whole idea basically so i'm going to check this back out by clicking command z and let me zoom in it let me zoom in a bit or let me zoom it in a bit yeah this is kind of my first video so i'm a little bit nervous but um uh you guys should just you know go easy on me so now what we want to do now is to click the minimal 
text and shift a now what shift a does is that it turns this into uh or it adds auto layout to it now auto layout is good for a number of reasons now i can for example duplicate this sorry i can duplicate the text command v command v v v right so this is what you can easily do this and you can you know Auto layout can do a lot of things, like, but not in this video. But all you need to know is that you need to just click the minimal text and then shift A, and then you're going to have this really scary thing, right? But like, it's going to look nice in a, in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to click frame and then I'm going to click clip content. And then once you clip content and you drag this, it hides the rest, which is what we're looking for. However, before we do that, let's kind of change the text to what we said or what I said earlier. So we have modern, we have cozy, not cozy, cozy, right? And then we have homey. I like that word. And then the last one is welcoming. Yep. So this are kind of the five adjectives. We want people to envision their homes with when you're you know interacting with the app so now what i'm going to do now is to now go back to the clip content side clip content is already turned on and then i'll drag this right about there i'm going to come to auto layout I would have this sit at the side and then I want to drag this a bit, just a tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny bit. And that will be it. So this is what we have now. So what we're going to do now is to frame everything. So I'm going to um, select everything, double click and click frame selection. Oops, let me go back. Um, what's happening? So I have this frame here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the auto layout off now because we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to take the auto layout off. And then I'll select the text and the frame and then use the Y axis. I'm kind of going to drag so that it starts from the beginning. So make your interior minimal. And we're going to zoom it in a bit so that we align it with the side. And yeah, I think it kind of works. So we have make your interior minimal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select everything. And then we're going to turn it into a frame. So frame selection. Now with that done, we can create a component so this is going to turn into a component and then we'll come here and we'll click add variant now we have to do this five times because we have the adjective or the text that has that uh, green gradient it has it's basically five words so we have to make this five so that we can change each um, variant to look you know how we want it to look so i'm going to click the plus sign here plus oops why is it not working plus yep uh plus it's kind of struggling a bit just because yep yep so this should work we have one two three four five yes so now we're gonna switch all of them to the text so this is minimal the next one is gonna be uh modern and cozy homey welcoming so i'm gonna tap this and then once you tap into the frame you need to select everything not selecting the frame but selecting everything in the frame and then you come to y and then you drag to the left so that you have the next text appearing so pretty simple stuff really pretty simple stuff Yep. So we're going to repeat the same thing for the others. 
select within the frame and then we drag the y till the text that we want up here appears really hmm. because i'm actually screen recording and then having the video um i'm screen recording and actually uh whoa so i think my battery was happening um okay so we're charging now so we're gonna come to the fourth one you know do the same thing select all the elements within the frame and drag till we see homie 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 ho mm, right about there yeah so the last one obviously is going to be welcome and so i'm going to select that select the elements and then we're going to drag till we see welcome in yes so things are looking pretty nice so the next thing we want to do is to move to prototyping because we want to prototype this and then we can move it from the component set into this frame because this is the frame we are working with so i'm going to click prototype <clears throat> and then i'll select the first one drag it to the second one the second frame within the component and set it to after delay so after a thousand milliseconds sorry after a thousand milliseconds it's going to smart animate to the next frame and we want it to ease in and out right and then this is going to you're going to leave that at 800 milliseconds We'll move to the second frame, drag to the, the third one, select after delay. And, you know, we're going to set it to thousand, leave it as smart animate, ease in and ease out, 800 millisecond, click the third one. So this is kind of like a pretty repetitive thing we're going to do so that it shuffles through. Now, once we're done and we animate it, you're going to understand even more. So, yeah. Luckily, we are almost at the last one. Um, after delay, set it to 1,000 milliseconds. Um, smart animate, 800. And then we want it to, you know, start right back up. You know, same after delay thousand milliseconds um this time we're gonna do ease in and out back to have you know a very slight variation in the animation so now that we have everything animated we're gonna click design and then we're gonna hit option select and drag so we're going to drag this into our frame. Uh, apologies for my laptop being a little bit, a little bit sluggish just because uh, I'm doing this work in Figma at the same time screen recording so that you guys can um, see this. So that's why it's a bit sluggish. So now let's, you know, prototype it and see how it looks. I'm going to click R to reset. And this is what it looks now. I think this looks pretty amazing as compared to the first uh, static, uh, you know, prototype, which I didn't like at all. But this looks very engaging, you know, and it kind of sets a very good precedent to what's in the app before the person actually enters the app. So like, uh, yeah, this is how to animate text in Figma so guys this is my first ever design tutorial and i know it's like it's a bit shitty and everything just because um <clears throat> this is my first time but i just hope i'm going to improve with time i hope you found this video helpful i'm going to leave this as a figma file in the community so that you can just go 
duplicate it and play around with it and even learn or modify it so i just hope you found this video helpful i go by the name swaji gray if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one peace out